Thanks to unseasonably early warm weather, planting for this year's crop is well underway across the country. Neil Melanson now joins us with this week's bottom line. And Neil, at this point, it looks like all indications are saying we are going to have a record corn crop. That's right, Mike. At almost 96 million acres forecasted to be planted, it's shaping up to be one of the biggest ever. The USDA Prospective Plantings Report released in March showed 95.9 million acres of corn for 2012, which is a 75-year high, and in many states, it will be a record. The huge corn crop is due in part to this warm March weather, which not only set temperature records, but early planting records as well. When the April Supply and Demand Report came out last week, the big corn acres coupled with increased stocks for corn on lower ethanol consumption had the USDA increase its carryout for this year. While soybeans have been driving the market higher on export numbers, this huge corn crop will hang over the market for quite some time and lead to lower prices as the year goes on. Of course, the key concern is weather. It's been relatively dry in the Midwest this year so far, and any little rain shower like the one we had this past weekend across the grain belt will only make more downward pressure on the grains. Due to the mild winter weather we've had, it's unlikely we'll see Midwest flooding from snowmelt this year. The early planting start means fewer fears for frost in the fall as well, as farmers will be taking the crop out early. The bottom line here, though, is that even with this early start, there's still a long way to go in the growing season. The market is preparing for big grain numbers, and China is expected to jump in any time and buy grain as well. Any hiccup, such as a long dry spell like we saw in the Southern Plains states last year, and prices will go soaring back up at any time. While that might be good for some farmers, it's not a gamble any of them would want to take, and it would be bad for the economy in the long run, as prices for gas, beef, and groceries would all be impacted. In the meantime, Mike, hopefully this crop will make, and consumers will get the price break at the grocery store we saw later this year. Well, Neil, let's hope so, because all indications say that they will not be getting any break at the gas pump as summer draws near. Neil Melanson, thanks. And remember, you can listen to any of Neil's reports on the Louisiana Farm Bureau radio network for a list of stations where you can listen or tune in online. Click on over to our website, twilighttv.org, and look for the LFB radio link on the left side of the home page. That does it for this edition of This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. Join us next week when we'll head back into Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen, where Holly and AJ will be cooking up another exciting dish featuring those great Louisiana products. Until then, you can watch any of our stories online. Just visit our website, twilighttv.org. For all of us here at This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, I'm Michael Dana. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Hope to see you again right here next week.